Even if you're new to your industry, you're probably familiar with propane. Propane tanks are commonplace at local hardware stores as a fuel for backyard grills or camping stoves. Propane is used for these consumer purposes for one main reason. It's a cost-effective fuel that burns at a steady, even rate. Propane is also a common fuel in the workplace. Many owners choose propane as a fuel because it's reliable and inexpensive. It's also very safe if handled and stored correctly. Safety precautions are essential with propane because it's a highly flammable liquid. Vapors from propane can ignite quite easily. Even static electricity buildup can cause propane vapors to catch fire. Propane is stored in approved tanks, usually cylinders. Your employer will let you know what safety precautions are specific to your facility, but in general, follow these simple storage and handling guidelines. One, never smoke or have any sources of open flame near propane storage or filling areas. In fact, any source of flame needs to be at least 25 feet away. Two, make sure propane cylinders are kept away from any electrical equipment that could throw sparks or release any kind of heat. Propane expands when heated, which could cause a cylinder to rupture. Three, when moving propane cylinders, do not strike the sides of the container against other cylinders or any other metal. It can cause a spark, which could ignite or explode the tank. When dispensing or filling propane tanks, there is a specific safety protocol you must follow. First, put on any personal protective equipment required by your workplace and any warning label. The cylinders should be tightly secured, so begin by carefully releasing the straps or clamps holding the cylinder steady. Your employer might ask you to perform a sniff test before you use a cylinder. This simple step means taking a few moments to make sure you don't notice a leak. When you lift the cylinder, make sure it doesn't strike anything else. Again, this is just to prevent sparks, which can cause ignition. Check that the O-ring is in good working order. The O-ring is what seals the valve and keeps the cylinder from leaking. We recommend this safety check whenever you use a propane cylinder. Doing so will go a long way in preventing an accident. Next, when filling or dispensing propane, connect the filling hose to the cylinder and open the valve very slowly. Spend just a few moments paying careful attention to your process here. This is the perfect time to listen and smell for leaks. As you probably already know, propane is odorless, but for safety purposes, a pungent smell has been added. Learn how the propane at your facility smells, and if you smell it, take action. If you suspect a leak, turn off the valve immediately. Next, get any required personal protective equipment and warn your supervisor. Sometimes you can troubleshoot a leak without help. Just make sure you check with the manager first. If the cylinder is faulty, shut the valve and remove it from the work area. Be sure to tag it so that it isn't used again by mistake. Before you use propane, you'll need hands-on training. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, requires that new employees be trained within 90 days of beginning work. OSHA also dictates that veterans should have refresher training at least every three years. If you've been trained on propane safety multiple times, you might find the experience a bit redundant. But you should still take the training seriously. Keep in mind that these training protocols are there to protect everyone at your facility. Perhaps you feel that you don't need the safety reminders, but you'll probably want your colleagues to pay attention. And as with all chemicals or mixtures at your facility, your managers are required to have a safety data sheet readily available to you. Review this sheet anytime you're unsure about the safety precautions or storage requirements. This important step is essential to preventing propane accidents.